In this section, we're going to be talking about setting up a rock solid LinkedIn profile that will help you market yourself on LinkedIn. So I want you to think about LinkedIn as your digital resume and something that will continue to evolve and change over time. When you network and apply for jobs, it's almost a foregone conclusion that recruiters and people interested in networking with you will be looking at your LinkedIn. So because of this, you want to make sure that you have a stunning profile and really make a great first impression. And starting off here, we're going to focus on some of the key questions that recruiters will ask when viewing a potential candidate's profile. So up first, the question is going to be something like, does this profile look like that of a data analyst? And the key here is that when the recruiter first views your profile, you want it to scream data analyst. It should be very obvious. The second question here is more about fit. Here, the recruiter will try and determine if you are someone that the team or organization would enjoy working with. Up third, does your profile come across as professional and polished? Now, the key here is to make sure that all aspects of your LinkedIn profile really portray your professionalism. And this is especially true when it comes to things like your profile image, which we'll cover off on in a little bit. Up fourth, the recruiter will check to make sure that your experience and skills are relevant to the role that you're applying for. An easy way to be successful here is to make sure that you add roles, certifications, and education that highlight your data analyst skill set and experience. Fifth, this point is all about validating your profile and skill set. One of the easiest ways to do this early on in the process is to reach out to a mutual connection that can serve as a reference. And this is just one reason why networking is extremely important. And last year, what type of content do you share? So let's say you have a professional profile picture, your different sections on your profile, like your about me and background, really scream data analyst. But the content you post and share has nothing to do with analytics. How do you think a recruiter would interpret this? So the point here is really to make sure that you're walking the walk by sharing relevant analytics content and interacting with other users in the same way. So all in all, LinkedIn is a very important digital resume tool that should be used to present the professional version of yourself in the best way possible. Up next, I'd like to take some time and introduce you to the six core elements of their LinkedIn profile that we're gonna focus on building out. Up first, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you add a profile picture that's clear and well-framed, meaning that you can clearly see your face. Additionally, your picture should signal that you're professional and approachable. Next, this is an often overlooked area, but your background image is a great space to sell yourself and grab the viewer's attention and really show your passion and creativity. Third is your headline and your introduction. And as you can see on the slide here, right now, ours just says recent graduate, but it should say something to make it clear that you're all about analytics. This is also a great spot to list some of your top skills and tools. Up fourth, we have the about section. And this is a wonderful space to share your personal story and describe some of your top skills or major accomplishments. Now, this section shouldn't necessarily read like an autobiography, but more as descriptive highlights that people should know about you. Next is the experience section. And this is where you should post and share any relevant information and experience that you have with analytics. This can be anything from prior jobs or classes that you've taken. Maybe you've enrolled in a boot camp uh, or some sort of uh, short term analytics program, you know, something like that. The key here is that you really just want to demonstrate your experience in a clear, descriptive way that is outcome focused. And up sixth, last but certainly not least, we have the education, licenses and certification sections. And this isn't something that's just limited to showing where you went to school, but it's really where you should post any sort of relevant academic records, licenses, 
and professional certifications that you've earned that demonstrate your aptitude and ability.